Welcome to all my viewers from across the globe. This is Ifi's global channel. My name is Ifi Onabo. This channel focuses mainly on African issues. We are dedicated to telling the African story the way it is, undiluted and authentic. And I want to thank you for joining our program today. This is a continuation of the series of videos that we shall be creating on the new legal route to migration into the UK. It is called the High Potential Individual Visa Program. So like the name suggests, this visa program is targeted at individuals with high potentials and it is applicable worldwide. In other words, it's applicable in the United States, in Canada, in Latin America, in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, it is applicable all over the world. The first video we did on this subject matter um, was just an introduction and I will not be repeating what I said in that video. What I'm going to do is simply to drop the link in the description box below this video so that those of you who have not had the opportunity of watching that video will, will now do so. I want to state also that I do not normally like my videos to be so long. This is because I appreciate the fact that time is money and I respect the fact that my viewers have a lot of things to do. They have other pressing matters to attend to. And this is why I try as, as much as I can to break this subject matter into segments. So today, what are we going to be focusing on? We'll be focusing on the eligibility for the high potential visa program. In other words, who can apply? Who can apply? Who qualifies? Now, first is that those who have completed a degree from a qualifying university outside the UK for the past, within the past five years, they are qualified to apply. In other words, your degree uh, certificate should not be older than five years old. It shouldn't be older than five years, I would say. And then secondly, people of any nationality who are at least 18 years old, you are also eligible to apply. Now, the applicant should have a degree from any of the top universities listed by the British government on the UK government website. I'll be uh, placing a link that will help you to navigate to that website below this video. Now, it will also include schools outside the UK that appear in the top 50 of the Times Higher Education World University Ranking and the Academic Ranking of World Universities. I'll try to take that again. It will include schools outside the UK that appear in the top 50 of the Times Higher Education World University Rankings or the Academic Ranking of World Universities. Now, what are the criteria? What criteria are applicable here? The first and the most important is that you do not need a job offer in the UK, which is good news. You also don't need a sponsor to qualify, which is also another good news. And this makes it different from the highly skilled migrant program where the applicant, for example, must have a UK sponsor and the sponsor must pay the relevant uh, sponsorship fee. Now, again, you can come to the UK and set up as self-employed. That is, that is another advantage. You can also come to the UK and set up as a volunteer. That's another advantage. And now this visa can only be granted once and will not be available to those who already had a graduate visa 
The graduate visa, like I explained in my previous video, is for international students who have graduated from the UK, uh, from any given UK university, and who would want to spend additional two years here in the UK working. So that's it. Now we move on now to the uh, next important uh, aspect of uh, the eligibility criteria, and that's the English language requirement. Now the applicant for the high potential individual visa program must demonstrate ability to understand and communicate in English to a certain level, especially on the uh, level of the Common European Framework for Reference for Languages which is uh, called CEFR scale. And this means uh, being able to read and being able to write, being able to speak and listen to at least level B1. Level B1 is the intermediate level. Now, the advantage of the uh, high potential uh, uh, individual visa scheme is that you do not need to show IE LTS qualification. That to me is very expensive, and sometimes a lot of people do that endlessly without getting any, any results. So, if an ap applicant is a national, for example, of a majority English-speaking country, then by reason of his or her identity and nationality, you will be deemed to have satisfied the language requirement. So, if an applicant uh, ha has also been awarded a degree that is taught in English language, or you have obtained a, a GCSE in English, you have a good GCSE uh, result, and you have passed your English, you will also be deemed to have satisfied this requirement. But this is also subject to providing evidence from the university of graduation that you have been taught in English, or you may, in, in the alternative, you may provide uh, a transcript. Now, if the university, uh, if the uh, a degree has been awarded in a university outside the UK, you also need confirmation from the UK government that the qualification that you have meets the required uh, standard of a UK bachelor's degree or a UK master's degree or a UK doctorate degree. So that's all you need. Now, in my next video, I shall be discussing the financial uh, requirements and the cost implications of the high potential individual uh, 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 visa program. So I would uh, strongly urge you to subscribe and press the notification bell for updates. Also, share our content with your friends, with family and acquaintances, so that many more people will have the facts that will help them to make informed decisions. And in the process, you also help us to grow. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.